What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. Almost no one believed that a spin off series of a 90s movie would manage to reach such success, and here she is breaking records every day. The newest Netflix project based on the Addams Family Girl Wednesday Addams is a real hit and currently has hundreds of millions of hours of viewing. The eight episodes from season one obviously weren't enough for the fans, and that's why we all can't wait for this story to continue. Here's what we know about it. Before we see all the details and all the possible theories about season two, let's make a quick recap of what happened so far. The only person who gets to torture my brother is me. Wednesday is a masterpiece TV series directed by Tim Burton, the director who finally, after 30 years, has decided to work on a project based on the Addams Family. In 1991, Burton was associated with two Addams Family related projects, but later he passed on and also canceled a stop motion animated film on the same theme. The series follows the story of a 15 year old Wednesday Addams who has been expelled from her previous school and sent by her parents to study at Nevermore Academy. It's a place for supernatural outcasts, and why does she end here? Well, she did something she does the best. I give you a hint. What would a bag full of piranhas do if you release them in a pool with students? Yes, she did this after some boys were bullying her brother. In the new environment, Wednesday will have to learn how to adjust to it, and also she has to master her psychic powers. She will be put in the middle to solve a murder mystery that impacted her parents 30 years ago. In Nevermore Academy, she will meet everything, and when I say everything, I mean it. There are werewolves, vampires, sirens, etc. This is the same place where her parents Morticia and Gomez Adams were studying years ago. But unlike her mother, who back then was real fame in Nevermore, Wednesday is the opposite. From the first day, she will try to escape the place and leave the town of Jericho. She will even try to sneak out of her court-mandated therapy. As time goes by, Wednesday will somehow adapt to the academy, and she will even get close to a boy named Tyler. I'm guessing it was the day of the week you were born. I was born on Friday the 13th. Her name comes from a... He will try to help her navigate the escape, which Wednesday ultimately ditches. But later, she leans more and more toward this guy, but he's not the only love interest for our spooky girl. This is the bright side of the story, which contains many elements that one teenage series needs to have. The other part of the show has a dark side. It is trying to solve a decades-old mystery woven into a current string of murders. We can conclude that Wednesday is a terrible investigator as she was pointing fingers at many incorrect suspects a dozen times. But let's stop here and don't spoil it for those who still haven't seen the first eight episodes. And what are you waiting for? Hit that like button below the video right now. No, really. Get yourself a good spot in front of the TV and enjoy the next almost eight hours. Believe me, it's worth it. If you don't believe me, then believe what the audience has said by now. The series gathered an 8.5 rating on IMDb and a fantastic 87% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. The spooky Burton's Teen Tale had 321.23 million hours of viewing in its first week, beating even Stranger Things for the most hours viewed in a week for any English language TV series. The best thing in this series is of course the outstanding performance of Jenna Ortega. Her interpretation of the character made the show from okay at the start to a brilliant one later. According to the audience and film critics, Ortega's performance is the main thing that made the entire show work. That's why season two of the series is maybe one of the most anticipated on Netflix right now. I can't stand the fact that this school is the only thing propping up their podunk town. Says the boy whose life was served to him on a silver platter. Hey, you know and do we have a clue what's going to happen? The answer right now is no. The first eight episodes were released at once on November 23rd. The filming took place in Romania between September 2021 and March 2022. The series showrunners were Go and Miller, and Alfred Go already spoke about the possibility of Wednesday Season 2. According to him, there's more to be explored in the world of the Addams Family, so it's safe to say that the teen drama will definitely continue with at least one more season. Well, it must, since the Season 1 finale left us with many burning questions that need to be answered. Before we reveal every theory that is floating around, let's talk a little about the possible cast for the Season 2. According to many sources, the majority main cast of Season 1 would likely return, but the biggest question is what's going to happen with Christina Ricci's character, Laurel Gates, the actress who portrayed Wednesday Addams in the 1991 movie. In the series, Laurel tried to rid the world of the outcasts, but her plan didn't work. She was then attacked by bees, and maybe or maybe not, Wednesday killed her. Season 2 will surely give us more from Morticia and Gomez Adams. 
The characters were portrayed by the remarkable Catherine Zeta-Jones and Louise Guzman. The second season should bring another principal, as Gwendolyn Christie's character, Weems, didn't make it to the season finale. Let's move on and find out the theories that might happen to be true. It takes a special kind of stupid to devote an entire theme park to zealots responsible for mass genocide. We know that Wednesday made many enemies through her murder investigation, and in season 2 it's likely that she'll discover even more secrets connected to her family. And you should smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell below the video right now. No, really, with Wednesday discovering more secrets, that will surely bring more from Morticia, Gomez, and the other members of the Adams family. We can consider this a safe bet since Go and Miller are already revealed for TV line that they only touch the surface of those characters in the show. According to them, the relationship between Wednesday and Morticia is essential to the show, so even though they are different, there could be a bigger connection between them in Season 2. The following episodes could bring more from Wednesday's brother Pugsley, who could join the Academy and more from the legendary character Uncle Fester. Like many characters in the series, Fester's version is unlike anything we've seen before. He made only one appearance in Episode 7 and he was portrayed by Fred Armisen. Season 2 will also answer who is Wednesday's stalker. This is one of the biggest cliffhangers from Season 1. Whoever the stalker is, what we can rule out for sure is that he probably helped Season 1's Big Bad Wolves, Ms. Tornhill, and Tyler. In the Season 1 finale, we saw that Tyler can still turn into Hyde Monster, so he probably will come back for revenge against Wednesday. He became a personification of evil in the end, but we still hope that there is still some goodness left inside him and that the chemicals that Laurel gave him didn't rot his core beyond repair. We'll see whether he will become Wednesday's ally or a hurdle in her path. Season 1 never gave us a definitive answer on whether Bianca would be returning to Nevermore Academy. She played a crucial role in the battle for Nevermore's existence, and she is one of the school's most important students. She was Wednesday's primary competition and the Academy will be much duller without her if she wouldn't return. Two names are in the game at this point for the principal place of Williams, and they are Morticia and Bianca's mother Gabriel. Some theories are suggesting that Wednesday will have a girlfriend in Season 2. Well, it's not far from becoming true, and her name would be Enid. We already watched her efforts to shake Wednesday out of her gloom, and we also saw how Wednesday tried her best to hold back the tears when Enid roomed with someone else. These are just a few theories that would likely come true in Season 2. Netflix and the showrunners will probably wait for a couple of months until they officially announce a continuation of the show. With a success like this, it's better not to rush at all, because they need to bring the show even higher. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next show!